You grab the marshmallows and graham crackers and I'll grab the bug spray because we are going camping. <laughs> Special thanks to Polly for helping me decide what collection we are going to collect next. I know Outdoor Retreat is a game pack, so I hope it's okay. And be sure to stay till the end so I can show you how I'm planning on displaying all of our collections. Katie knows what I'm talking about. We talked about it. <laughs> So Outdoor Retreat is actually the first game pack The Sims 4 came out with and it also came with a special collection and that is insects. So in order to collect insects we have to go to Granite Falls which is the destination world that came with the game pack Outdoor Retreat. I have so many words floating around in my head that it's, sometimes it's hard to talk. So as you can see I am already here. I am already staying in one of the rental lots so we have 21 insects to collect and obviously you can present them and display them but they can also be used in certain herbalism recipes also a quick tip if your sim has the squeamish trait it'll be harder to collect bugs because they'll obviously become squeamish around them so the easiest way to spot insects is by going down low to the ground like this and almost looking in the perspective of what your sim would see and just start scanning the forest floor oh here we go collect insects oh and those and those okay so here we can see oh they're the butterflies okay sweet so she kind of just catches them with her hand so right now i am around the campgrounds there are three areas that you can collect insects in and they all have their own special insects so we are gonna have to go to the three separate oh we already collected these okay so let me cancel that the three separate areas of granite falls Ooh, are those ladybugs come on collect insects yeah look at the little ladybugs except they're quite large in comparison great Let's travel to the the national park because that is the second area that we can go to. So the Granite Falls Forest. Ooh, I think those are mosquitoes. Collect insects, please. Ha, nice. Is she gonna get bit? That wouldn't be good. Something to note, as I just mentioned, it is possible for your sims to get bug bites or to get negative moodlets in relation to collecting insects. So just be aware of that. Ooh. Come here. Yay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Wait, did she catch it or no? No. Foul stench from trying to catch an insect. Pew, that smells awful. It's probably a stink bug. She, When she tried to catch it, it sprayed her. Oh no. So that's what I mean about the negative moodlets. Oh, locusts. So are they locusts or locusts? I, I read it and I want to say locusts. Hello, collect the dragonflies, please. Ooh, and this one. Look at how cool this is. Hold on, before she catches it. Look at how freaking cool this thing is. It looks like a lizard with wings, but look at how huge it is compared to her. I don't like that. <laughs> Ooh. Look at how cute they are. What the heck? Are they leaf bugs? Oh, cool. What are those? Ooh, we don't have these yet. Do we have these? No, this is a monarch butterfly. Nice. Um. No. Yay. Good job. Apparently nighttime insects usually glow in some way, so they're easier to find. Oh my gosh, like that. <gasps> wow, are those the rainbow fireflies? I would assume so. Are those a real bug? Because that's so cool. No, stop, stop. I don't care about talking. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, we've been searching at the campsite and we've been searching in the forest. But you may be asking, but Ginger Plum Bob, you said that there are three locations that we need to look. That is correct. The last place we need to search is a secret area in Granite Falls where the hermit lives. And to find it, it's the farthest place away from the waterfall. So it should be around this area. Ha! I found it. It's this thing. So after you find this bush, I know it's hard to see, it's nighttime. You click explore. Yes, we would like to go to the deep woods. So this is our third location that we can find bugs. And I wanted to go here because a certain nighttime bug is found here. And I want to try and find it since it is nighttime. Whoa, look at the stars. That's incredible. Ugh, 
It would be a dream to live here. <gasps> I don't think we have that one yet. <gasps> Blue Morpho butterflies. Amazing. Ooh. What is that? Are those the same butterflies? Oh, no. They're different. Wow. Look at how pretty these are. Luna moths. Wow. Those are so pretty. Where are the will of the wisps? Will of the wisps. <gasps> I think I found it. Oh my god, I think I found it. Wow. Hee! Yay. Do we have... Oh! Oh! No, we don't! Bees! We don't have bees yet. Hopefully she doesn't get stung. Oof! Shoot on a boot. Okay, I found some bees again. So let's see if she gets stung. Hopefully not. Yes! Okay, great. We got the bees. So something that is in the forest that we need and it shows up in the evening and at night are dust spirits. Oh my god, I found them. Whew. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got the dust spirits. Great. Although, maybe not. Maybe they'll escape us somehow. Nope, we got one. Great. <laughs> Okay, I had to extend the vacation by one day. I searched so long, all day yesterday, and I did not find any of the five bugs we need. And I was just searching at eight in the morning, and I am near, I don't know, the forest. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I had the mantis. Oh God, that scared me. Oh my gosh. But I found the mantis. I am away from the waterfall. Wait. Wait. Did it disappear? Well, at least now you know bugs can disappear. I thought that if you go to collect them, that kind of like locks them in from disappearing. But I guess not because that just happened. Okay. After searching some more, I found the stink beetles and I swear to God, if they spray us with their stink stinky smell, and we can't catch them, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> Honestly, love collecting in The Sims, love finishing collecting, love making these videos, but I think by the end, <laughs> like when I'm close to finishing the collection, but there are just those last few things, I lose my mind a little. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Okay, I came to the secret woods and I searched in this area. I'm trying to show you, but I'm also trying to not lose my progress. It's like near the hermit house. It's here. And I found... <laughs> no, I didn't because they disappeared. Because I'm a dum-dum. Because I keep... Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Hold on. Are you serious? They disappear when you... Oh god, no. Here they are. Please, please don't lose these and please don't make it hard to collect. It's the first time I found jewel beetles. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, it is four o'clock in The Sims and I think that means the day is over, which means I can't find the four last bugs we need and I'm pretty sure my vacation ran out so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue on a different day like I did with the space collection video because sometimes it just takes leaving and coming back to make it so much easier so that's what I'm going to do so I will pass you over to voice over me in the future <laughs> Okay, it is a new day and I found a mantis. It took me a super long time, so. Okay, we have two mantis. I'm so happy and excited. We are, I think at the same bush that we found the one earlier where it disappeared. We are at the forest, the national forest, in case you want to try and find a mantis for yourself. What is that? Are those termites or stink bugs? Oh my gosh. <gasps> no, they're stink bugs. Okay, 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 okay. This is not a drill. <laughs> you stupid stink bugs. <laughs> you stink. And no one likes you. Come on, come on. <gasps> oh, frick frack. I'm so disappointed. But let's look at this location. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 
we are right here. How are we going to remember that? We're by a fallen tree because they usually tend to spawn in the same place. Okay, we're by the fallen tree near the cabin. Um, someone also said that they have found stink bugs, like I said, around the entrance to the deep woods. So let's check there again. Ugh, termites. I feel like sometimes certain bugs will spawn in the same place. And if the other bugs spawned there, that means that they're not around, obviously. Oh my gosh, why is this so difficult? I don't understand. Oh my gosh, termites spawned here. Ah! Okay, hopefully if termites spawned there, then stink bugs. Ha! Huh, I freaking knew it. Ah, remember what I said. Remember what I said about two types of bugs being able to spawn in the exact same spot. And I saw that the termites had spawned in the stink bug spot. So I looked in the termite spot and here are the stink bugs. Bada bing, bada boom, bam, baby. Okay, hold on. Let's let's go here. I swear to God, if these stink bugs disappear, come on. Eek! I'm so scared. Oh my freaking goodness, Gracianya! Ah, I am so freaking happy. Okay, okay. Stay cool. Stay cool. So, where these butterflies spawn are also where fire ants spawn, apparently. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Remember how I said that the butterflies were in the spot that the fire ants were supposed to be? So I just like kept staring at the spot and eventually the butterflies did disappear. And then after a little while, these guys appeared. So that's a little trick for you. Please, please work, please, please. <laughs> Dang. Nab it! <gasps> oh my gosh i don't even want to speak until it is in our inventory hold on okay oh my gosh okay let me explain something really quickly so i was going around at six in the morning i started at like 6 30 i think i got to this to the deep woods. I keep wanting to call it the secret woods. It's called the deep woods. So as you can see, there are butterflies here. Then I went over here to check out the uh, these butterflies. I can't remember what they're called exactly. And I was like, okay, these are always here. Then I went to go look at the dragonflies, which, which are over here, there. <laughs> I like it how I have all these locations memorized because I've been doing this for so long now. And then I was like, okay, let's look at the normal jewel beetle location, which I told you I saw them in the morning. So I went over here, but the walking sticks were there. So the walking stick does not just spawn at noon near the circle. They also spawn in the other jewel beetle spot, which is right here. No, right right here. Okay, I'm going to link all of the info that I am using in the description, but like I said, some of it is wrong. So hopefully... You're learning from this experience. So the first spot we are checking is this spot and it has the butterflies, which I am assuming means the other spot also has the butterflies. Yes. So honestly, let's just fast forward and wait until they disappear and something else spawns. Later that same evening. Let me check over, hold on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please, please don't sting me. <laughs> please. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I fast forwarded through that. But um, we did it. Okay. Now that I have officially completed the collection, I will pass you back to past me. Thank you so much, future voiceover me. Now I want to show you the surprise. Obviously, if you're only here for this video, this collection, you can totally exit out. Bye. Thanks for watching. Um, but this is mostly for the people that have been following throughout the collections. Okay, we are back home and if you'll notice, hmm, that's weird. Why are those there? And oh, what's what's that over there? <laughs> so basically, I realized that we are just completely running out of room um, in our house to display the collections. And also, like, even if I built a separate building like I did for the frogs, it was just going to fill up so quickly because there are so many collections. So I thought it might be fun to do like an underground museum kind of to display everything. Um, and that way, I mean, if we build down, 
we are not really going to run out of room. You know what I mean? But so if we go downstairs, we will get to this room here. And directly in this room, it opens up to the Space Rock collection. I wanted it to be up front and center because you know that that took me forever to find. So I just like want to present it all nicely. Um, and then if we go to this wing, you can see that we have our little plaque here that we get when we complete a collection. And here we have our Space Aliens and our Geode collection. And then also I like this. Oh no, it got deleted. Wait, what? Oh, here it is. That was so weird. It just appeared. Oh, and it disappears. Okay, well, you saw the light. I thought it was cool to have like the UFO light. If we go in the other direction, you can kind of see what room this is going to be. Uh, and here we are. Are. I wanted to make it look like the forest or, you know, an environment that you would find frogs. But yeah, because I put all of this foliage on the walls and these are actually sized down, I think both of these are sized down, it made this weird clipping um, on top. So like if I move these out of the way, <laughs> you can see it. So I'm going to do something more permanent. Oops. Okay. Let's just leave that there. I'm going to do something more permanent, but just temporarily to like cover that up i put the bushes but yeah that's why the bushes are all weird <laughs> so this is the frog room if we go from the frog room into this room da -da -da -da, can you guess what this is gonna be this is gonna be for our insects so i have this already but yeah you can see that, that we have a lot of empty spaces because obviously we are still in the process of collecting so this is kind of my idea for our collections. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative. I hope you learned something. If not, just you were entertained by my frustration towards the end. If you have any suggestions on what collection you want to see next, maybe it's one that you think would be fun or it's one that you would like some tips on, definitely leave a comment. But yeah, thank you so much for the support you've been showing on this series. I'm so glad you've been liking it and yeah, I'm so glad that you are watching. So as always, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends!